delicious girl. You're just small time. Liberty City is in shock today as the police and emergency services deal with the aftermath of a devastating attack on a police convoy this morning. As yet, no details have been released about the prisoners being transferred in the convoy, and no group has claimed responsibility. The convoy left police headquarters early this morning for a routine transfer of felons to Liberty Penitentiary. The attack took place on the Callahan Bridge, leaving few witnesses and the bridge itself severely damaged. Some of the convicts are thought to have perished in the explosion that followed the initial attack. Revelations as to the professionalism of the attack struck police hours afterward, when identification of the missing felons were further hampered by an attack by computer hackers on police headquarters databases. With the Porter Tunnel Project falling behind schedule, this disaster leaves Portland isolated from the rest of the city. Come on! Senor Dickhead! It's no problem to kill you. You're gonna be sorry. Aye, aye, get lost. place right here. Let's get off the street and find a change of clothes. I know this guy. He's connected. His name's Luigi. Me and him go back so I can probably get you some work. Come on, let's head over. This is Luigi's club. Let's go around the back and use the like service door. Wait here, man, while I go in and talk to Luigi. Hey, Paul's got some business upstairs. Well, maybe you could do me a favor. One of my girls needs a ride, so grab a car and pick up Misty from the clinic, then bring her back here. Remember, no one messes with my girls. So keep your hands on the wheel. If you don't mess this up, maybe there'll be more work for you. Now get out of here. I know who I am. Hi, I'm Emily. Luigi said to, to give you this, so here, here, take it. There's a new high on the street. Goes by the name of Spank. Some wise guy's been introducing this trash to my girls down Portland Harbor. Go and introduce a bat to his face. Then take his car, respray it. I want compensation for this insult!
How you doing, kid? The Don's son, Joey Leone. You want some action from his regular girl, Misty? Go pick her up at Hepburn Heights, but watch yourself. That's Diablo turf. Then run her over to his garage in Trenton and make it quick. Joey ain't the kind you keep waiting. Remember, this is your foot in the door. So keep your eyes on the road and off Misty. I'll be with you in a minute, Spark Plug. Hey, I'm Joey. Luigi said you were reliable, so come back later. There might be some work for you. All right? Some Diablo scumbag has been pimping his scuzzy bitches in my backyard. Go and take care of things for me. If you need a piece, go around back of Amnon Nation opposite the subway. Policeman's ball is being held at the old school hall near the Callahan Bridge, and they'll be looking for some old school action. Now, I got girls all over town walking the street. Get them to the ball. They'll make a bundle. Get as many of them as you can before the cops drink away their green. business to take care of. I got a little job for you, pal. The Ferrelli brothers have owed me money for too long and they need to be taught some respect. Lips Ferrelli is stuffing his fat face in the St. Mark's Bistro, so steal his car and take it to 8-Ball's bomb shop up in Harwood. You know 8-Ball, right? Once he's fitted it with a bomb, go park the car where you found it. Then sit back and watch the whole show. But hurry up, he won't be in forever. Chunky Lee Chong is pushing spank for some new gang from Columbia or Colorado or something, I'm not really sure. Who needs details? Anyway, he's got a noodle stand down in Chinatown. That rat has sold his last stir-fry. I want you to take him out. If you need a piece, go around back of ammunition opposite the subway. Sort yourself with a nine. You know where it is, right? Well, remember, just watch your back in Chinatown. It's triad territory. Hey, back up! All right, we're gonna hit the payroll van. It leaves the edge of Chinatown every day. Bullets won't even dent the van's armor, so get a car and ram it off the road. Now hit it hard, and the punk-ass security guard should bail. And take it to the warehouse at the docks, and my guys are gonna take over from there. Now it won't be doing its rounds all day, so don't hang around. Oh, young punk, me can 
You know what I mean? Oh, here's the guy I was telling you about. I right, listen, this guy, he ain't Italian and he's no mechanic, but he could get things fixed. This is Pop's capo, Tony Cipriani. Yeah, I'm Tony Cipriani. Take him to Mama's restaurant in St. Mark's. All right. Now listen to me. I'm planning a job that needs a good driver, so drop by sometime later, okay? Okay, kid, drive me to the laundry in Chinatown first. I got a bit of business to take care of. Those washerwomen ain't been paying their protection money. And watch the car, Joey just fixed this junk heap. So no fancy crap, okay? Wait here. Keep the engine running. This ain't a social call. Just beautiful. All right, just the guy I need to talk to. All right, there's a car stuffed with a stiff at the cafe near Callahan Point. One of the Ferrellis thought he was a wise guy, so he got what he had coming to him. Take the corpse to the crusher in Harwood, all right? She's gonna be, huh? All right, listen. Get some wheels to the safe house at St. Mark's and pick up a few friends of mine. They're hitting the bank and they need a driver. I gave my word that you were the man, so don't screw this up. Get them to the bank before five o'clock, not a minute after. Take a goddamn seat. So the laundry won't pay any protection, huh? The triads think they can mess with me? Let's teach these would-be tough guys what it means to be a tough guy. I'm sorry, Ma. Yes, Ma. I want you to destroy their laundry vans and mangle any triad gimp that gets in your way. Eight Ball can supply you with what you're gonna need. Laundry has agreed to pay. You did real good, kid. Go collect the cash and bring it back here. Watch out for the triads. They may be shoving a firecracker up your ass. But don't take no crap. Nobody, I mean nobody, messes with Tony Cipriani. Then get Luigi from his club. Come back here and pick me up. Then we'll all drive over to the boss's place together. Those triads, they don't know when to stop. They want a war, they got a war. Now get going. How you doing?
How you doing, kid? My husband will kill you! No fancy crap! My girls have been missing you so long, Salvatore. You've been away too you long. You tell them once this unfortunate business is taken care of, we'll all go down to the club and celebrate, okay? There's my boy. How you doing, Pop? You got yourself a good woman yet? Hey, your mother, God bless her soul, would be turning over in her grave to see you without a wife. I know, Pop. I'm working on it. Tony! How's your mama? She's a great woman, you know. Strong. Firenze. She's good. Fine. Terrific, terrific. Now listen, you guys, you go inside while I talk to our new friend here. I see nothing but good things for you, my boy. But he left one of his sugary love letters for We're you. We're at war. The Triads have a fish factory as a front. Most of their business goes down at the fish market in Chinatown. The laundry still owes us protection. They reckon the Triads are protecting them now, so I say we exact a fitting punishment. Take those boys over and whack the Triad Warlords. Hell, if you get a chance, pop some of their soldiers, too. Going for the mattresses. Okay, I've had enough of this shit. We're gonna finish the Triads and Liberty once and for all. Eight Balls rigged a dust cart with a bomb. It's on a timer, so if you mess up, there'll be no evidence. Go and pick up the dust cart. Careful. Eight Ball says it's real sensitive, and the slightest bump could set that thing off. Their fish factory will open its gates for a dust cart, so you can drive right in. Park up between the gas canisters and get the hell out of there. I want it to rain mackerel. We're talking real biblical here. Nothing low budget. Move your butt. Dumb bro does this every time. And here she is, the one and only Queen of Sheba. What were you doing up there? Whatever it was, I bet it cost me money. Well, you don't think I hang around here for the conversation, do you? Get in the car and keep your big mouth shut. Take the limo, but bring it back in one piece, you hear me? And watch her. She can be trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure your new lapdog has everything covered. And isn't he big and strong? Hey, fighter, let's go visit Chico and get some party treats. He's at the rail station at the Chinatown waterfront, I think. You're looking for some fun? A little, some spank? Hey, Chico. Nah, just the usual. Here you go, lady. Hey, maybe you should check out the warehouse party at the East End of Atlanta Keys. Sarah. Gracias. And enjoy. That's good stuff. for the first time in a long while and you you know you treat me really good with respect and everything oh, I better go <laughs> I'll see you around I hope leave us alone for a minute the Colombian cartel is making spanks somewhere in Liberty but we don't know where 
and they seem to know everything we're doing before we do. We got us a rat. There's a guy named Curly Bob, works the bar at Luigi's. He's been throwing more money around than he's earning. He ain't pimping or pushing, so he must be talking. He usually gets a taxi home after work, so follow him. And if he's ratting us out, kill him. Comes our little friend, Mr. Big Mouth himself. Were you followed? You know what goes on here is our little secret, Ami. No, no, I, I wasn't followed. You got my stuff? Here's your spank, Squealer. Now talk. Okay, so the Leones are fighting wars on two fronts. They're in a turf war with the triads, with no sign of either side giving up. Meanwhile, Joey Leone has stirred up some bad blood with the Forellis. Every day they're losing men and influence in the city. Salvatore has become a dangerous and paranoid. He expects everybody and everything. And with loyalty like yours, what has he possibly got to worry about? Ah! It's out, but while we're at war with the triads, we ain't strong enough. The cartel has got bottomless funds from pushing that spank crap. If we make an open attack on them, they'll wipe the floor with us. They must be making spank on that big boat that Curly led you to. So we gotta use our heads. Or rather, one head. Your head. I'm asking you to destroy that spank factory as a personal favor to me, Salvatore Leone. If you do this for me, you will be a made man. Anything you want. Go and see 8-Ball. You'll need his expertise to blow up that boat. Yo, my man. Salvatore phoned ahead, but a job like this is gonna need a lot of fireworks. I'll need $100,000 to cover expenses. But you know, with me, you get a lot of bang for your buck. Come back, brother, when you have the money. Okay, let's do this then. I can set this baby to detonate, but I still can't use a piece with these hands. Here, this rifle shall help you pop some heads. Get a good vantage point, then I'll head in when you fire the first shot. Cleaner. I'm proud of you, my boy. You kicked the shit out of those grease balls. I just got one little job for you before we can all celebrate. There's a car around the block from Luigi's club. The inside is covered in brains. We gotta help some guy make up his mind and it proved a little uh, messy. Take it to the crusher before the cops find it. going behind his back, so he was offering you to the cartel in order to make a deal. I couldn't let him do that. I mean, the worst thing is, it's all my fault because I told him we were an item. Don't ask me what, I don't know. Look, you're a marked man on the Mafia turf, and I've got to get out of here too. I've seen too much killing, too much blood. I... This is a friend of mine, okay? She's an old friend, and it's, it's so good. She's someone we can trust. 
Come on, enough of the speeches. We better get out of here before we get more hysterical Italians wanting less friendly reunions. Asuka and I are gonna have to talk. Uh, why don't you go cruise around? You'll need a place to lie low. There's a warehouse at the edge of Belleville that should suit your needs. Come back here to my condo when you're ready, and you and me can have a little chat. We have certain issues to clear up before we continue any form of relationship, business or otherwise. Let's lay our cards on the table. I am Yakuza, and I know you worked for Salvatore Leone's family. I can give you work with our organization, but first you must prove to me that your ties with the Mafia are truly broken. Salvatore Leone will be leaving Luigi's in about three hours' time. Make sure he doesn't reach his club alive. Meanwhile, Maria and I will catch up on old times. Oh, Asuka, you've got a massager. That's not a massager. Salvatore's death comes as pleasurable news. You're an efficient killer. I like that in a man. Ah, this is my brother, Kenji. Asuka has a little job for you. But when you're done, drop by my casino and we can talk. Just like Kenji. Always trying to play with my toys. My police source indicates that the FBI has mounted a surveillance operation at key locations around the city. It is too late to contact anyone and avoid incrimination. Take out these spying cops, but be careful. They're bound to have backup. A reporter has been nosing around. Marie and I have taken a little holiday together until you can get rid of this perverted voyeur. He's probably out in the bay as you read this. Steal a police boat and sink his career. <laughs> a handsome handyman. Maria's all tied up at the moment, but I'll tell her you called. It's time you met our man inside the LPD. Here's a payment for the last little job he did for us. He is understandably cautious. Get to the payphone in Torrington as quick as you can and await his instructions. Get to the phone in West Belleville Park. Get to the phone on Liberty Campus. Get to the phone in South Belleville Park. Meet me in the toilet block in the park. You must be Azuka's new errand boy. You got the money? Is it all here? <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Another bent cop. Well, it's a bent world. Just because I lost a few partners, those suckers from Internal Affairs have started sniffing around. Reckon they can smell me. Well, this city is one big open sewer, but I'm gonna need some non-union help. And if you're interested, you know where to find me. Maria and I have gone shopping. Our source in the police has informed us that one of our drivers is a strangely animated undercover cop. He's more or less useless out of his car, so we've tagged it with a tracer. Make him bleed. My sister speaks highly of you, though I'm yet to be convinced that a guy Jin can offer anything but disappointment. Perhaps you could help deal with a situation that has me at a disadvantage. Of course, failure has its own disgrace. 
A Yakuza Kando is in custody awaiting transfer for trial. He is a valued member of the family. Break him out of custody and get him to the dojo at Bedford Point. It is impossible to overestimate the importance of etiquette in this line of work. To my eternal shame, a man once did me a favor, and I have never had the opportunity to repay his kindness. The man's weakness is mother cards, and he has requested that we acquire him certain models for his collection. Needless to say, we must give him the cards as a gift to repay the debt that I owe him. You must obtain the cars on this list and deliver them to a garage behind the car park in Newport. My honor demands it. When trouble looms, the fool turns his back while the wise man faces it down. The Colombian cartel have ignored repeated requests to leave our interests in liberty well alone. Now they are negotiating terms with the Jamaicans in order to humiliate us further. They are finalizing a deal across town. Take one of my men, steal a Yadi car, and go pay your respects to the Colombians. Our honor demands that you leave no one alive! To be truly strong, it is important that you never show weakness. The businesses fortunate enough to have our protection settle their accounts today. Go and collect the money immediately so we can enter it into the casino accounts. Pay you, and I wouldn't pay you if I could. Some young gang just tracked up the place. They took everything. You guys are useless. What kind of Yakuza are you anyway? You. How fitting you should choose this moment to show your worthless faith. It would appear your attempts to dissuade the Jamaicans from becoming bedfellows with the cartel were wholly inadequate. Yardy pushes line Liberty Street selling packets of spank like they were selling hot dogs. Those cartel pigs are laughing at us, at me. I will give you one last chance to prove my sister's faith in you to be well founded. Run these scumbags into the ground and wash your shame in rivers of our enemy's blood. That scumbag, McCaffrey! He took more bribes than anyone. He thinks he's gonna get an honorable discharge if he turns state evidence. He just squealed. He's under armed protection in which that property down in Newport, some apartment behind a car park. Touch that place. That's a flush your mark and you hunt him down. Make sure he never talks to nobody. Over here! An old army buddy of mine runs a business in Rockford. 
We saw action in Nicaragua back when the country knew what it was doing. Anyway, some cartel scum roughed him up yesterday. Said they'd be back for some of his stock today. He's gonna need backup. And in return, I'll give you a knockdown rates on any hardware you buy. I'd go myself, but the old sciatic is playing up. <laughs> so, uh, hmm, good luck. Ray phoned ahead, but I thought there'd be more of you. Can't believe those yellow belly bastards left me without proper cover again. Well, three arms are better than one, so grab whatever you need. Those Colombians will be here any... Nicaragua, maybe I still have my arm. If you need any firepower, just drop by and take what you need from the lockers. Leave the cash under the bench. Now get out of here. I'll handle the cops. I know a real important man in town, a soft touch with, uh, shall we say, exotic tastes and the money to indulge them. He's involved in a legal matter, and the prosecution has some rather embarrassing photos of him at a morgue party or something. The evidence is being driven across town. You are going to have to ram that car and collect each little bit of evidence as it falls out. When you've got it all, leave it in the car and torch it! We're both going to do pretty well out of this. I think my partner's a rat! We gotta shut him up permanently! He goes fishing out of his boat near the lighthouse on Portland Rock most nights. Steal a police boat. Make sure his backstabbing plans are sunk. I want him sleeping with the fishes, not eating them. Kill a goddamn fly! I paid you good money to kill that witness. And he ain't dead! And today he's gonna make a federal deposition! He's being moved any second now from the Carson General Hospital up in Rockford. If he squeals, I squeal! starting to drown here. The CIA seems to have a vested interest in Spank, and they don't like us screwing with the cartel. I'm a marked man, so I'm getting out of here. Get me to my flight at the airport, and I'll make it worth your while. First of all, let me thank you for dealing with that personal matter. People will read something into anything these days. 
Experience has taught me that a man like you can be very loyal for the right price, but groups of men get greedy. A valued resource, an old oriental gentleman I know, has been kept hostage by some South Americans in Espatria. They're trying to extort additional funds from me, but I don't believe in renegotiation. A deal is a deal, so they'll not see a penny from me. Go and rescue my friend. Do whatever it takes. Nothing drives down real estate prices like a good old-fashioned gang war, apart from an outbreak of plague, but that might be going too far in this case. I've noticed the Yakuza and the Colombians are far from friends. Let's capitalize on this business opportunity. I want you to kill the Yakuza Wakagashira, Kenji Kassen. Kenji is attending a meeting at the top of the multi-story car park in Newport. Get a cartel gang car and eliminate him. The Yakuza must blame the cartel for this declaration of war. In these days of moral hypocrisy, certain valuable commodities can be hard to import. On its approach to the airport tonight, a light aircraft will pass over the bay. It will drop several packages into the water. Make sure you pick them up before anyone else does. Thank you for retrieving those packages, but they were only a decoy. Sorry about that, but that's sometimes the way in business. My real objective was hidden on the plane all along. Unfortunately, the port authority seized the plane and were stripping it down until I intervened at great personal expense. Cross the bridge to Shoreside Vale and go to Francis International Airport. I've paid off the officials. My property will be waiting for you at the customs hangar in the aircraft fuselage. Be sorry. You There's no problem. You want the There's no problem. Hey, let's get this out of here. God knows what it is, but he seems to want it badly enough, so it must be worth something. Who the hell? You! Hey, take it easy, amigo. No es nada, no es nada. I left you pouring your heart out into that gutter. Hey, don't shoot, amigo. No, no, no problem. We are friends. Here, don't be such take a this. pussy. Hey, we got no choice, baby. You always got a choice, you dumb bastard. I'm sorry about the crazy bitch, man. They, they're all the same, please. Por favor. So, the whore got away. But you've done me a favor. You're not the only one that has a score to settle with the cartel. This worm killed my brother. I never killed no Yakuza. Liar! We all <sighs> saw the cartel assassin. We are going to hunt down and kill all you Colombian dogs. 
I'll be operating on our friend here to extract information oh. and oh. a little pleasure. You, drop by later. I'm sure I'll require your services. Please, amigo! Oh, don't leave me here with her, man. She's, she's psycho, chico, man. Please, amigo! Hey! Hey, amigo! Amigo! You are proving to be a safe investment. A rare thing in these days of falsehood. My oriental friend will need an escort while he takes my latest acquisition to be authenticated. I want you to follow him and make sure both he and my package get to Pike Creek unharmed. A lesson in business, my friend. If you have a unique commodity, the world and his wife will try to wrestle it from your grasp, even if they have little understanding as to its true value. SWAT teams have cordoned off the area around my associate in the package. Get over there, pick up the van, and act as a decoy. Keep them busy, and he should make good his escape. All units be on lookout for security time, time to the area. Suspected armed and dangerous. Miguel seems to think I'm mistreating him. Still, he's revealed the extent to which Catalina fears your quest for revenge. She has three death squads dotted around Liberty, whose sole job is to hunt you down. Act as the bait and get the death squads to follow you to Pike Creek, where some of my men will be waiting for them. Ah! Miguel certainly has some of that famous Latin stamina. I'm quite exhausted. We underestimated Catalina's plans for spank. It reaches far beyond the yardies selling it on the street corners. The cartel have a front company, the Kappa Coffee House. They've been selling spank through the street stalls. We have no choice but to put these drug stands out of operation. Smash them ah. to splinters! Ah. Do we tighten it some more now or just wait for it to turn black and fall off? Give it a quick prod. Oh, what is that gooey yellow stuff? Oh, hey, babe! My handyman. I, I was bored, so I came over to keep Asuka company. She's got the makings of a natural, this girl. She's managed to extract this little gem from our guest. There's a plane coming into Francis International in two hours' time. It is full of Catalina's poison. You can avoid airport security by getting a boat out to the runway light buoys and shooting the plane down on its approach. Collect the cargo from the debris and stash it. 
Oh, you be careful now, okay, baby? Now try the chili oil. Arceus Idiot, one of these Scarface Idiots. question is, did you turn up to rescue Maria or to get me back? Well, I got news for you. Shooting you will be a pleasure, but dating you was only business. You are muy pequeñito, amigo. Throw over the cash. You have been a busy boy, but you haven't learned. I'm not to be trusted. Kill the idiot! It's not I going to do Residents in Cedar Grove have been coming to terms with the emotional aftermath of a full-blown war that hit the area yesterday. Local resident Clive Denver described to police a single gunman that he saw fleeing the scene with a dark-haired woman. Oh, you know, we're gonna have such fun, because, you, know, you know, I love you. I, I, I really do, because you're such a big, strong man, and that's just what I mean. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, you know, I forget, but you know what it's like, don't you? The sound of explosions shook nearby homes as people ran for cover. Several citizens were injured in the panic as gunfire was exchanged between ground forces and a helicopter circling the dam. Yeah, we got a good view from down here in the gardens. When the copter finally got taken out, 
Better than the fireworks on the 4th of July. With the death toll already over 20, police are still finding bodies. There have been no official denials concerning rumors that the dead were members of the Colombian cartel and still no leads as to the cause of the massacre. Can you believe it? This one cost me $50.